Big tech has built up plenty of muscle in Washington over the past few years, but there were some dramatic swings in the amount that companies devoted to lobbying during the second quarter. Take a look at Google slash Alphabet, for example. Spending and lobbying dropped 22 percent from the previous quarter, though the total was still more than $2 million, and that's more than it spent last year. Apple, on the other hand, was up about 12 percent for a total spend of $1.6 million. Microsoft declined 4.6 percent. Amazon and Facebook were mostly flat, just up over 1 percent and down about four-tenths of a percent, respectively. But these guys are the BFDs in D.C., deploying almost $5 million each. Each. So what's driving all those dollars? Well, the usual suspects like Section 230, privacy, data collection, content moderation. But there were also some company-specific issues. Microsoft wanted to talk supply chain, AI, and COVID relief. Google singled out online advertising. For Apple, it was music licensing. Of course, all of these conversations were happening as the House Judiciary Committee moved on its package of antitrust bills. And the White House named big tech critic Lena Khan as the chair of the FTC. Now, President Biden has issued that sweeping executive order on competition, touching almost every agency in Washington, urging the FTC and the DOJ to ramp up scrutiny of big tech in particular. So, John, one thing is for certain, the lobbyists will still have plenty of work for the foreseeable future.